Hello everyone, I'm Luke Ian, and welcome to Super Win the Game. So, what is Super Win the Game? Uh, Super Win the Game is a pseudo-sequel to You Must Win the Game, a free game developed by Pirate Hearts that was a clever and fun adventure platformer, very similar to games like VVVVVV, as well as some with some very obvious Metroid inspirations tossed in there. Um, one of the biggest features of it, though, was a really great CRT screen simulation that you could disable, but honestly, why would you? It was awesome looking. Um, it's also used in this game here, and you can kind of see it there, but once we get into the game itself, you'll really be able to enjoy it. Um, now, one thing that is very, <laughs> it's actually kind of ironic, um, the people who developed this game here are the same people who developed the other game I'm Let's Playing, Eldritch, so, which is Minor Key Games. So, it's a little funny that I'm doing two games by the same people. They're both very different, though, and it's very exciting to jump into this game as well, because I've been really interested in playing this game. Um, so as you can see, it says there, continue, um, but I haven't actually, like, played much of it. I just kind of opened it up so I can make sure that the vid quality was okay. So we're just going to jump straight into this, and we're going to see what it's like, okay? Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this place as if in a dream. A dream from which I can never wake. Push left or right to walk. Exit to the left to skip training or proceed to the right. Um, I'll just do training really quickly because uh, it's actually kind of cool looking. So let's move forward. Also the music is just really good. Push E to read signs. Yeah, that's kind of obvious. Uh, can I change that? Because I'm using like some very specific controls here, actually. But whatever, that'll do for now, I guess. Yeah, the battles are the save spots in this game. Jump to avoid spikes and other hazards. Now, I would actually be using my controller for this, but um, there's a little bit of a glitch with my controller. Uh, it's not actually presenting the right button input, so like if I turn on my controller right now, it's gonna do some weird things. Like, here. Oh, look at that one, didn't let me do it. Never mind then. <laughs> yeah that I said that. Use keys to unlock doors. Alright. There's a key. I love this CRT simulation though, it's just beautiful. Enter. Yes. Unlock the door. Cool. Each key may only be used once. Press tab to view my inventory. Does so. Hold down up to jump higher. Down to jump down. Yeah. Pull down up is probably one of the most confusing sentences I've ever actually had to read. <laughs> Safe travels, Wayfarer. My dreams weren't always haunted. Once upon a time, they were rich and vibrant. This is their story. Alright. Let's get started. Oh, that's so cool looking. Oh, it even flickers weird because it's a CRT screen. Okay, so this game's got like super open world stuff going on here. You can really kind of just go wherever the heck you want, which is pretty awesome. Um, as far as I know, there's actually no combat in this game. Um, it's just very careful and clever movements to make sure that you don't get into enemies. So. Even though that this is a very Zelda 2 inspired map, I won't actually have to worry about running into anything while I'm walking around, so that's good. Although there are secrets from what I know, lots and lots of secrets. I mean, if it's anything like the first game, I expect this game to have a gazillion secrets. Alright, let's see what this place is. Town of Lakewood. I'm talking. Alright, the Arcadian passed through not long ago. Arcadian, okay. Who are you? 
padlock something good in the basement. Oh, why don't you give it to me? I thought I saw a rat around here. Hmm. Alright. I wonder if I can jump over to the other roof. Oh, there we go. Oh, a key. Nice. Heck yeah. Ah. I guess I can go in this basement. Let's see what's so good. It's a kitty! Why would you lock your cat in the basement? That doesn't seem very responsible. I guess there was money too, but there was a kitty! I mean, is that money? I made a little, like, dollar sign when I picked it up. Was that? It's a jewel. Good for me, I guess. They say the Arcadian has a mask that can see ghosts. That's pretty cool. Who you? What you? Hello, I'm the key lender. Would you like to borrow a key? Uh, on what terms? More info. I can lend you keys if you have none, but it will incur a debt. It is better to find keys in the field if you are able. I'll keep that in mind. And what's up with you? I found a key on the floor. Would you like it? Maybe? Yes. You got a key. Use it well. Why, thank you. How awfully kind. Alrighty. What are these signs? House of Keys. House of Gems. What does this do? Hello, I'm the jeweler. What will it be? What? Do I give you these four jewels, or do I give you jewels to get these? I'm I, I actually can't tell. This is such a very confusing menu. Uh, nothing. For now. I'd rather keep both my gems and my keys for now. Hall of speedruns? Oh god. What? Uh... Never mind? Uh, back. Back. Thank you. Okay. I guess there's a hall of speedrun. I gotta go fast. I will do this some other day, maybe, but this is not really the focus. What's this place? Hello, I'm the fortune teller. Will you have your fortune told? Uh, sure. You've spent... <laughs> okay, I've spent 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 8 in this world. You have died zero times. You have collected one of 128 gems. Jesus Christ. You have never owed a debt. Thank goodness, right? <laughs> That's not really quite true for real life, though. <laughs> Anyways, uh, seek out the Arcadian Pass Lakewood. Okay. Alright, so these guys kind of give you an idea of where you need to go next. That's helpful, to be quite honest. So, going this way? Oh, okay. I like this music, it's real nice. Eh. Eh. I guess I can't do that. Uh, it looks like, um, a block will be there later. Same with that one, although it's a different color. Watch your step. Shall do. Okay. Are you here to see the Arcadian? I guess I am. Following this fantabulous tower. Platforming. We. I don't understand why video games have like platforming areas in them sometimes. Because um, my initial thought is, how the heck do people even get around this place? Eh. Oh, I guess I have to. Oh! Okay. Locked. Yes. Unlock the door. You've got horns, are you a bad guy? Hail, Wayfarer. Welcome to my tower. Could I trouble you to fetch something for me? Uh, yes, you can trouble me. Huzzah! In the dungeon to the east, there is an orb that emits a crimson aura. I would very much like you to study it. Bring me this orb, and I shall give you a gem in return. Cool. Do I get to keep the orb afterwards? Because I think that's an important item. Because um, in the first game, there was a crimson orb you needed. Ooh, this music's cool. Are you headed into the dungeon? Be careful. I shall. Thank you. This dungeon was once the king's palace. Who is the king? Keep on. I saw the king mentioned a few times so far. If the king's heart were restored, we could begin rebuilding these ruins. What happened to the king's heart? Whoa, hi, okay. What is this? Boing. 
and that's a dead end. Oh, man, I love this CRT design though, it's so good. What's up with you, fella? I fell down here and now we can't get out. That sucks. Oh no, we've got some Mega Man bullshit going on here. Alright. Uh, yeah. 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 I guess this one's not too much of a worry. Yeah. Nice, I made it. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh god, crumbles. Okay. Oh. Oh. I can see a gem over there, but I don't think it's worth the hassle. You know what, kid? I totally agree with you. Oh no, no, no! Oh. I die. I die. Wee. Wee. Okay. Wee. Oh, there's something in the lava. I wonder what that was. Oh, it's, a, it's for the gem. Okay. Oh, at least I got that gem, I guess. Alright, so there's absolutely nothing over in that direction. Uh. What's this way? Our hollow king rules a hollow land now. That's oddly poetic. Have you thought about doing poetry? Jump. 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 Oh, why did I do that? Come on now. Alright. Hey! Hey you! Hey ah! Hurry! Ah! Boop! Da! E! Ah! Uh, that was not that bad. Exit. Uh, I don't really quite want to leave right now, so I'm not going to. Do I have a key? I thought I got a key. I have a key! Oh, let's go in here. But Yes. Unlock the door. Oh! Okay, uh, those are probably dangerous. Yeah. Oof. This is some bullshit. There's stuff like this. Ah! Oh. There's stuff like this in um, the first game, and, uh. Are you kidding me? Um, it, it is probably just as difficult, if not more difficult at times, to get past. Ah! Oh! 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 There it is! I got, uh, I got block. I have block. I've got block. I have block. Hey, what's this? Really read from the book. Why not? This is what was written. This recurring dream won't leave me alone. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Suddenly things are a little weird and creepy. Uh. No, no, wait, no, no, I didn't want that. Uh, this is some looping bullshit, ain't it? What's going on here? Ah! Maybe if I go this way instead? Oh! Ah ha ha ha! Okay. That's all there. The sleepless watch over us. This is kind of creepy pasta. But they're not our allies. Ooh, that ain't good. Yeah, this is awfully weird. Do you hear the chimes, Wayfarer? Yeah, this is really, really weird. I felt as if I'd been away for years. At least I still had all my teeth. Ugh. That's oddly dark and brutal. I mean, the first game had a few creepy things in it, but nothing like that. Absolutely nothing like that. I should probably say Okay. Oh! Ain't that a nice sight. Alright. I do hope I get to keep this, because it would suck if I couldn't. Um, there's probably more to explore here. Probably glance around a bit before I leave. Yeah. Wee! Oh, really? Really? Oh, okay. They're gonna make me do this the hard way, it seems. Wait! Jump. And now 
I'm going to do that again because there's another passage up there and I kind of want to get in it. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey. Ooh. Ah. Hee. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh, yo. No. Uh. I guess I can't do that yet. Oh, well. Guess I'm going through the exit. Open. Oh, that is a lot more direct than I thought it would be. That's helpful. Alright. So I have the Crimson Aura. And I give it to the wizard Arcadian dude. Oh, actually I have no proof if they're a dude or not, but... I don't know. They've got horns. Are you kidding me? Yeah. E. Wait. Not to be confused with VoIP. There's a difference between VoIP and VoIP. Alright. Take my red goo. Hello again. Ah, thank you. This orb will be perfect for my research. Here's the word I promised you. I got the gem. You may keep the orb, too. I'm sure its powers will help you. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I was a little worried that I won't be getting it back. Just a little worried. Just a little. Okay, so where to next? You know... This little patch here looks a little suspicious. Aha, I called it! If I know anything about Zelda 2, there would be inconspicuous patches just everywhere, and then suddenly walk into it, and then it says, Oh! Oh, I thought you were an enemy. I like to come to these woods for peace and quiet. Well, I'm so sorry for intruding! Anyways, yeah, if I knew anything about Zelda 2, it would have a few secrets here and there like that. Oh, that's right! They activated the magic crystal block. Except that it seems it doesn't do crap. Oh, there we go. Alright. Ah, but I can't go this way yet. Mm, soon enough, I'm sure. Oh yeah, I, I know where I am. I didn't read that sign for nothing, I just felt like reading it. I don't like to leave signs unread. Although, I might have already read that sign. I don't know. Alright. Hmm. Where to next? You know, I didn't go to this town. It was like the first town you see. Stemmons Community. It kind of looks like a community, I guess. Who are you? Six pieces of the king's heart. One each in the south, east, and west. Two in the north. One deep underground. How do I know this? Not telling. Kie, kie, kie. Well, ain't you rude. All right. Subcon is the fastest way to travel, but you'll have to find the, uh, the other subcon doors first. I think there's one in the castle to the east. Cool. What well, is subcon? Is it subterranean convention? The waterways are all full of secrets. Secrets and toxic waste. You don't use the waterways anymore, I'm sure. Two waterways. Do I have a key? I do not have a key. If there's anything... That she said that one person in the house here said that I need to go deep underground to find one of the pieces of the heart. Are these important? No, they're not. Um, so, yeah. This one looks important. Aha! I called it. What? Boop! Yeah! I got a gym. Might as well just kind of check all these old towns around here. What is this? It is inaccessible. That's unfortunate. Fishing village. Okay. What is this? This door bears a strange symbol. It does not appear to open. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you very much for that then. Legend speaks of a great fish that lives in the waterways. Maybe I'll catch that fish someday. That sounds like a boss to me if I've heard of one. Ugh. I don't understand how there can be, like, bosses, though, because this isn't really, like, a game that you fight enemies in. Oh, okay. Push up when laid in on a mushroom to get a big boost. Got some Mario crab going on here now. Oh, that makes life a little easier, actually. Boing. Wee. Boink. 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 Ah, so close but so far. Alright then. Where to, where to? 
That looks accessible. I was ready to go. Oh, but uh... Nope. Yeah, not happening today. Never mind then. Oh. Can I go across this bridge? It looks dangerous. Although, wait, what's that up there? It's a cave. It's a cave. It's in the cave. Oh, this music's hella. This music is super hella. I apologize for using hella unironically, but this music, I gotta say, is super hella. Uh, how do I do this? Uh, timing, timing! Eee! Okay. Oh, there's a person down here. There's a secret at the base of the sky pillars. Oh, thank you, little cave person. Ah. Eee! Ah. Eee! Ah. Eee. Ooh, I don't know why I'm making those noises with Mind Danger anymore. Alright. Um. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to bring this episode to an end about here. Um, time's up for this episode, but thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a comment in the section below, and subscribe if you want to see more of this. Um, I will be continuing my Eldritch series further on later. I'm just a little burnt out from it at the moment, especially after some stuff that happened in it. Um, I also have another video prepared. It just hasn't been edited yet. It'll be up soon. Um, you'll definitely see what exactly was going on in that one. It was just a little more editing required for that one than I actually was particularly happy about. So once again, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. So hope you have a wonderful day, night, week, month, year, etc. Thank you very much.